Hello, my name is Brainerd Carey. I'm an artist, an author, and an educator. I wrote this book, Making It in the Art World, which is case studies of different artists and how they built their careers and some tips on how to communicate with and curators and museum directors, galleries, and how to build your own career. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about ambitious projects. Why sometimes it's important to do something very ambitious. I've talked before about galleries, curators, group shows. There's all, all the typical ways of artists kind of making it or getting exhibitions, which is through traditional galleries. The other way is doing major projects. And I'll give an example of that from an artist that I worked with. He wanted to do larger projects, was an unknown artist, didn't have a gallery, and what he wanted to do was a large-scale sculpture. So what he did was this, and this is a model that anybody can use, and it's a very ambitious one. He needed about $10,000 to realize it, but I'll explain how everything happened in, in just a few minutes. What he did was, first he decided, what do I want to build and where do I want to build it? And so he wanted to do this large-scale sculpture. It was kind of an abstract sculpture. And he was looking for a place to put it. And so we found a park. And it was a, a local park to him. It was a park where there was a lot of homeless and junkies there. And it was a place where most people were scared to go. And we both decided this was a good place to produce an ambitious project because it wasn't a place that was heavily trafficked, it was a place that wasn't seen much, and his sculpture or work would help revitalize the park, create more traffic through there, and perhaps make it a less scary place to come to. So the way he did this was, first he made a model, he created a little drawing of what it would be, and then he went to the local town hall, the town government, the city government, and asked them for a permit to temporarily install this. Now temporary is an important word here. If you want to do a permanent installation on city property, that's a pretty difficult thing to do because permanent is a long time. And you probably don't want to have a work of art permanently there. Temporary is much easier to get approval for and even huge ambitious projects in New York are almost always temporary. So what he said to the, the town hall was, how do I get a permit to do this? I want approval to be able to install this sculpture in the park. Well, they told him who he needed to talk to, what meeting he needed to go to, what kinds of details he needed to provide, and he provided those. He did need to work with uh, a friend who was in construction to help him do drawings that showed how it would be anchored and how it would work in the park, how it would be safe for people to walk around. And what happened was, they approved it. They said, okay, you can put it there. They didn't give him any money, but they gave him approval. This is a very powerful thing to have because now he has a spot that's highly visible in a local park in the middle of a small city. So then he had to raise money for that. He needed about $10,000 to, to manufacture and install it. And we decided to raise 15000 so he'd at least have some money for doing this. He could have raised 20000 if he wanted. The way he raised that 15000 was fairly straightforward, and it's the way museums raise it, and all kinds of people raise money who are doing large, public artworks. He went to a few major companies, corporations, big businesses in the area, and he said, I'd like you to give $5,000 to this project, or 15000 if you want to be the only sponsor, but no one wanted to be the only sponsor. So he got three sponsors for $5,000, and what those sponsors got was their names listed in the press releases of the people who made this happen. So he got the money, the 15000 he installed the work, it was up for I think three months, it was supposed to be what it was, and they let him keep it up for longer. It was up for I think eight months in total. Um, so it could have been longer even, but he felt that he wanted to take it down. But what happened was the reason those companies wanted to support it and would be happy to give $5,000 is it's better than spending money on advertising for those companies. There's, it's, it's a big local event. A sculpture is being installed. There's pictures of it in the paper. There's pictures of the, of the business owners next to it who are the ones who supported it. It's great advertisement for their business. Plain and simple. It's, it's, it's a way of promoting their own 
interests. And so it's a win-win situation for everybody. He did a very ambitious project, which is fantastic. He's an unknown artist and had this huge sculpture that got all this attention. Obviously, galleries noticed, curators noticed. But also, it was a great way of, of accomplishing something without it being such a competitive or difficult process, which galleries can be, and, you know, open calls can be. He's just one person trying to install something, and he was able to do it. This is something that I would consider doing, thinking about, again, large-scale ambitious projects that could be murals for painters, that could be installations, uh, photographers can do the same thing, they could do billboards, all kinds of possibilities are out there. So consider something ambitious, think about an ambitious idea. If it requires using city property, local property, go to your town hall, go to your local city government, ask what it takes to get permission to install an artwork temporarily on city property, and then raise the money for it. And you'll find it's easier than you imagine because there's so much less competition. And you'll also get a lot of press attention because it will be a local major event. Thanks for watching. If you need help and would like assistance in this type of thing, you can make a time to talk with me using the link below or ask questions in the comments. Otherwise, I wish you the best with your art career.